we're going to transplant some peppers, bellboys. We started these about three weeks ago and they're in good shape right now. And as per before, everything has to be well labeled. So I'm going to label each of my pots before I break these peppers apart. Alrighty. And I use return address stickers to label my to label my pots. Okay. And I use and I mark them with a waterproof a waterproof ink. I've got two small peppers here, so I'm gonna use a smaller pot. And I stick them on like this because they seem to stay stuck better than if I put them on like that. Because I can hang this little edge over and give it a good pinch. Okay. So I've got two little ones there. And then I got some nice big ones. And I've got these peat pots which are my favorite thing to use, these peat pots. Mm -hmm. Because I don't need to transplant them again. I can get them good and wet and put them in a garden. And if it's a halfway decent wet, wet year, I don't need to water them when I put them in the ground. I might need to water them a day and a half later, but I can do all of my planting Without having to worry about bringing down the hose or five gallon buckets of water because I only set them out when they're soaking wet. And even this is very damp. Okay. Because that will make for less transplant shock here in the house. So I've got this many going. We'll take a, a moment now and I'll. I'll break this. I've got a couple more to do, but we'll do those later. Yeah. Give it a couple squeezes on both sides. Shake it out into this little pan. And uh, then I grab them with my fingers. Yep. I get that much. And I pop it in there. And I push it down. Mm -hmm. And I... Want to have it come up straight right in the center. Make sure the dirt that's in here is freeable. Mm -hmm. And toss it in lightly. So you plant it a little deeper though. Yeah, I plant it a little bit deeper. I want to get close to the cotyledon leaves. Okay. Yeah. If, I, if I cover the cotyledon leaves, that's okay too because that'll grow roots almost. And then I do this. Get any little air pockets out. Yeah. I want to get the top. I don't want the top packed down tight because if the top is packed down tight, it'll be uh, prone to fungus. Okay. So that's a little one, and I'll pick out a big one now, and I do it the same way. I pick it with my hand and tear them loose. I used to use a knife and cut them loose, loose but I uh, don't prefer that. Mm -hmm. because it damages a lot of root tips. This way I get a little bit more root tip. Then I hold this like this and I pull it aside to yeah. give me a spot to pitch in the, the softness, tap it down very lightly, and then I hold my thumb to tap down the other side. And I still just tap it down lightly, and then I fill it, and then I thumbprint it down to hold it up nice and straight, and then I tap it again to give it better aeration on the very on the top of the soil. Okay, and that's how you dem uh, that's a demonstration of transplanting some pepper plants. Yep. And tomatoes are pretty much the same, right? I do it pretty much the same way for all of my plants. Okay. And now, if you got some cabbages, which we I don't have here today, and you happen to crease the stem then it's toast. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much true with any plant though. You yeah. don't want to you don't want to pinch the stem because that's that's the, that'll kill the plant. Yeah. It'll it might live for a while, but it will never be it will never be fun. 
he will be unhappy his whole life I and mean, he will never be productive in the garden. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Well, that's how to transplant peppers and tomatoes and other plants.